the first piece, um, which I only recently saw, um, is that, you know earlier work and um, is referencing the outside world a lot more than the sort of fantasy world or this mythical or fairy tale world. And so I was um, curious about um, it. Was it seemed more like a, you know an anti-war you know <laughs> treatise or something in in some way about you know, sort of destruction in a, in a different sense. Well, I think um, in Natalie's case, you know, it's such an intimate process for her because uh, she makes th this work in a very small studio. Um, uh, most of, the, of it is created in a room probably half this size. Um, and um, she works alone. Uh, um, with just Hans there to assist with making it, making the music. She shoots each of the pieces uh, just using a, uh, like a high resolution still camera too. And uh, then the images are stitched together in a kind of a very primitive uh, kind of animation style that, that she set up. And she wants herself to be in, uh, in that work too. If you're looking closely, you can see her, uh, her, uh, her fingerprints in the clay uh, that she's making. You know, uh, often you'll see you know, bits of hair of her hair. Uh, her cat's hair too, and she's shooting so quickly sometimes that, that you even see the hands. And she wants it. Uh, she she doesn't want to hide that kind of armature of of making that work. She wants to that to be very present. So you, so you see strings and uh, wires and other attachments. Mm -hmm. She she wants you to be aware of that that uh, that she's bringing you into this world that that she's creating. Here, whether however nightmarish it may be too, but she, that's the way that she wants to bring it, bring you in there. And she also wants it. She's also shooting it not in a very seamless way, where normally, you, if uh, uh, if you were at like an Ardman studio or Wallace and Gromit, you know they're shooting everything at 20, 24 frames per second. So you see very natural movement. She very consciously is is shooting about half that, maybe 12 to 15 frames uh, per second, too, to create this, this jerkiness, too, to, make, to, to keep you away from thinking that, that it's part of the natural world, too. It's another way of looking in at, at kind of a nightmare, too. But, but it's kind of a nightmare because it's things that we see in ourselves. We, we're, we're recognizing that, that we all have the, this ability uh, to be incredibly cruel, but also to be incredibly generous and kind, too. And where, where within us do we find that spirit to, to uh, be a part of that spectrum?